Wakaba now is the divine beast. She is like being worshipped by the people of the vampire village, right? Because we're having like a little backstory for the vampire side. We're kind of like protecting her, which is really funny. Well, not funny because she's not Faye. It'd be funnier if we were like protecting our bully. But anyways, we're getting the Negishi backstory. She's a baby perspective. People are trying to assassinate her, which is the elves and a bunch of other stuff. And we got a bunch of more explanation on the church about how there's like the words of God. Basically, skill up, skill up. That's good. And then the other part of the uh, religious faction, that's like skill down, skill down. Give away your skills, even though they worship the same goddess. So it's like, hmm, I feel like this is like man-made war. You know, they worship the same goddess, yet these people are fighting amongst themselves. Why? Is the Pope Dustin intentionally doing this? To separate the masses, to divide and conquer. Ariel is also known as the divine beast of the goddess, right? Who, who's apparently Ariel, of course, is a demon lord, right? But a lot of different things are being set up. And in terms of the future timeline, I think we're supposed to be meeting at the elf village, right? Ariel and the 10th squadron, which is supposed to be walkable, I hope, is going to, you know, the elf village where the rest of the Shun's party is going. So a lot of things are coming together. But let's start today's reaction. <sighs> <laughs> we have an entire chapel now. <laughs> They're worshiping. There's fruits and everything. <laughs> Pay your respects. 15? With the Divine Beast, your country is bound to be secure. Very interesting because I feel like now, with our country worshiping Wakaba like a spider god, suddenly. I think Dustin and other people are going to be very, like, wary of us. They're going to be like, hold the fuck up. Wait, wait, wait. Everyone's supposed to be either on, you know, word of God, you know, skill up or skill down faction. What the fuck? There can't be a new God, a new religion. Now, I, don't you feel like we're entering, like, turf territory wars, you know? Like, this entire country is ruled by Wakaba or, like, the Divine Beast? <laughs> it's the same fucking drawing. <laughs> they could have at least quoted an actual artist for the drawing. The drawing looks goofy. I think that was mom's drawing, right? Negishi's mom, you know, the vampire mom. <laughs> Who's your baby? Oh, okay. Bald, bald, bald. <laughs> Wakaba merch. <laughs> they have Divine Beast cookies on top. Yo, this is actually heresy. You can't be monetizing your newfound god like this. What the fuck? <laughs> All the money should be going to Wakaba, huh? Wait, what the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. The plushies, the dolls actually look like Wakaba, you know, from her perspective. Right? When we see her, she's like a cute anime girl. But to everyone else, she looks like a monster. But interesting that, you know, the merchant actually got it correctly. Unless, unless, Wakaba thinks that the merch looks cute like this. And in fact, it actually looks like a regular spider from the humans. I don't know. Why are you blushing, bro? He drawn her? Did, did she just sum her gang? Did she just... What did she just do? Yeah, I've got the baba boom purport. Oh, the gang. <laughs> Alright, she's a bochi. Loner. Kirito. <laughs> I'm a loner, goddammit. Everyone was like, what is she saying? What is her goddess saying? So every time she says something, no one can understand her. They think that's like the word of God. Where are we in timeline wise? Presence. Okay, they're going to the elf village, right? Yo, that elf village is definitely gonna get burnt down, right? That elf village is going down. Or maybe Shun has like a plot armor moment as a. Dude. Oh, oh, oh. Elves, elves. Okachan. That's right. She's an elf, too. Okay, she is. She's Teen's daughter. Why are we here again? Good, good question. Why, why, why are we here? Because we got kicked out of our own place. We got under attack. We got nowhere else to go. So we're, we must the elf village? Why are we here? Brought them to aid in the coming battle. Okay. To help with the battle with the Empire. Oh, racist elves! <laughs> Disgusting non-elf monkeys! Who that? Uh, this is actual dad. Oh, this is the actual dad. Okay, I for some reason I thought Potimas was the dad. <laughs> Wait! Wait! Potimas is dead! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, 
let it cook, let it cook. What? 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 You died. The head. Oh, what other ways to evade death are there? Why would you explain yourself? Hello? Um. They're just conveniently gonna say there is a lot of ways to evade death. Not gonna tell you though. All right, let's move on. Should have told Julius Nisama, man. They're diverting that kind? Because the Empire is coming at us, but the demons could also attack the Empire because the King Empire is like left un unprotected, right? That's what they're talking about? That's right. Fake hero Hugo. Why don't you explain to me how you're alive, bro? Comrades? Which other ones? The ones that's always been at the elf village, right? Okatan was always like, they're, they're at the elf village. Can we trust him? <laughs> the empire has already invaded. Potimas is under the work with the vampire. And we're already under the trap, but we need to get the fuck out. No, I'm, I'm not gonna be okay. I'm being cautious. Something is fishy though. We can't trust Okacha? <sighs> I've always trusted Okacha, but why did I trust her? Even though she was so sus always. She was always so sus. She still didn't tell us exactly how she took away the powers, man. After she was like, admin privileges, please. Ruler class privilege something. Take away power from Hugo. Ah, uh, Okacha said us up? This is all part of the plan? Wait, ah, uh, she was acting. Yeah, and we already have another rat in our party right now. Hidens on the far left. That dude fucking killed the Julius Nisam. No, no, probably not, but I still don't trust him. No one, no one can be trusted. Oh, shit. This is still present timeline? Okay. Until now. Don't jinx yourself. Don't. Uh, not even the Queen Tarte. Who's showing up? Who is showing up here? It, it, it isn't fucking, you know, 10 Squadron with the Spider Crew showing up to this place? Why would you specifically say a Queen Tarte stack can't make them area of blood? How about three Queen Car? I don't fucking know, but I. You just jinxed it. You just jinxed it. Nah, this barrier is going down. Hugo has a secret weapon. Does he? Hmm. Katya's look there to Okatan was very suspicious. Maybe it's just the weird fun funky animation this season, but that was like very like they held that. She was like giving her the side eye there too. Everyone's the suspicion levels are really rising. The little camp for the reincarnated monkeys? They have to do farm work? New victims? <laughs> Why are the reincarnated people here just doing farm work? Like they're just the elf slaves. Huh? This straight up just looks like an internment camp, doesn't it? By the elves to us? I have no idea who you are. The only Shinohara I know is from Classroom of the Elite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's him. Got a new look, huh? Dude, Katya's pretty hot. I have no idea who Shinohara is, though. Like... Okay. O okay, Kudo class rep. My bad. Shinohara is her name. Faye's name. My bad. It was, I, got it, I, I got it wrong. But anyways, um, Faye, how, why does she look the same? Because... Before, she was a dragon. Now she's human form. Something about her with souls? Because souls are used to extract, you know, people from the real world to this isekai game, right? That, that, that's what Admin D said, right? And her ego is completely back too. Her persona changed back to her regular self. Who? I, 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 I and Kumi? Who, who the fuck is I and Kumi? Hmm. Okachan, Okachan suspicious. Okachan suspicious. Okachan, what are you doing? Okachan? Jesus Christ, that was tense. 
くの再会の場に私がいたら皆さん気分が悪くない。うーん。フフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフ Who the fuck is Ogi? I'm sorry. They never explained to us any of these characters at school, right? We hardly got to see any of them, right? So none of these names means anything to me. Yeah, they're literal and NPC names to me. Alright, Ren. Okay. Imagine this is like an instant death. You know, instant death anime we're watching right now? You with Yogi? You know how they keep introducing names and they die immediately? I imagine the next fucking, you know,、uh, the, the battle against the demons or the empires. <laughs> Our entire class here just dies and I never had to memorize their names. Oh, 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 oh. That was important right there. Who was there? Oh, Decay these two. They were adventurers doing their own things. Okay, okay, okay. All still from the class. Is it? I haven't been keeping track. Someone do the math for me. Two more. Two more than Okatan told us about. The math ain't mathing. The math is not mathing. Okatan told us a number. I forgot that number. But right now, we exceed that number. Meaning there's imposters among us? There's two extra reincarnations? Or.、Uh, Wakaba is one of them and Negishi too, probably, right? But like. He's, she's, she, he, he just said there's two more. He just counted and he said there's two more than Okachan. Okachan's calculations might have. I don't know. The wording here is very odd because she's saying two more. That's implying there's two extra in this room. You know what I mean? Based off of what Shun said, that's what we're supposed to assume. <laughs> Kanata, why are you so hot right now? <laughs> True. Brother, why are you so hot? Every guy is blushing, dude. <laughs> It was. <laughs> Don't even try. <laughs> Didn't keep it. Bro, folk, this guy is so horny for Katia, dude. He was looking at you. Every guy in this room has folded, dude. Katya somehow became the most popular one all of a sudden.、Hmm. Kidnapped by the elves? Damn. They got some bad spawn points. Then they got some shitty ass spawn points. But the elves somehow got him rounded up? Because of Oka chan? This scene again. How much you've done? What has Oka chan done? And they just put him to work on the fields. I agree. We can't trust anyone, man. Who the fuck is Kiyoya Sasajima? I don't know who any of this is. Katya and Shun friends? I don't remember him, man. Wakaba and Negishi. I'm still kind of confused. Shun said there's two more extra in this elf village right now, two more than Oka chan has said. Let's just give an arbitrary number. Overall, and I know this is probably not correct, arbitrary number again. Let's say there's 25 total, Oka chan said. But there's 27 right now included. And on top of that, there's two missing, Negishi and Wakaba. Right? So there's two more, including the people from our room. That's implying there's two suspicious people. Isn't that the most obvious explanation? If Shun says there's two, there's, there's two more here. Right? Two more than Wakaba said. Sorry, Sensei said. Right, two more here, then there's two extra. Right? If we exclude Wakaba and, you know, Negishi, the vampire, right? Spider and vampire, right? If they exclude that from the equation, we would have four less. Am I crazy? Or are your math not mathing up? Why the fuck would they be included in the equations? They're not even included in the equation. That means that we're negative two already. And on top of that, We're surplus two. So there's four extra if you're assuming. Do you guys know what I'm saying? The math is not mathing up. Just 
taking what sensei's equation, just taking sensei's number, there's two extra in here. That makes no fucking sense. The adventures didn't count? I don't fucking know. I, I thought that that was like really important. Kyoya is like Shun's really good friend though that he's trying to look for. Oh, uh, that's so many names. What if... Girl, girl, the girls though, the girls though, right? Which one is D? Does anyone sound like D? D? I don't... D? 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 No, these names mean fucking nothing to me. Oh, hello mother. Yeah, we're just gonna assume that the adventures are the two that wasn't part of the equation. That's why there's two extra. Hmm? Right, when we were leaving that fort, that's right. <laughs> Love how Negishi's just in the baby crib. Just give him the side eye the entire time. Let the spider figure it out. Ooh. Ooh. Guy's voice. Potimas? Potimas, Potimas. Hello, Potimas again. What is this baby crib angle? Can we trust Potimas though? We can't. I don't trust the elves. I don't trust anybody. Plotimas wants to go see Wakaba? Does... Is, is Plotimas right? Oka-chan should have been born at the same time, right? Everybody's born at the same time. Is Plotimas looking for the reincarnations? Who is aware of the reincarnations? Right? Isn't that like really early fucking news, right? Didn't Dustin say something last episode about we need to find the reincarnations? Could Potimas right now be like looking out if Sophia is reincarnation? <laughs> Imagine trying to kill the baby. <laughs> Are you a reincarnation? Kills the fucking baby? <laughs> Did Ariel send that spider here to guard you? And why would Potimas instinctively jump to conclusion that our, this baby, the Sophia, is so important, right? So Ariel, obviously, Ariel Sama, you know, the demon lord. We don't. We know that Ariel didn't send Wakaba here, right? We no. Ariel didn't do shit. Wakaba is here by chance, right? Arya was not like, all right, my granddaughter, you need to go there. No, 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 no. None of that's happening, right? But is this important? Wait. <laughs> Detergent, fabric yeah, softener. I suppose that means she is aware of the reincarnation after all. Ariel, right? Potimas, Ariel, Dustin. Very important key figures. They're competing against each other to see where the reincarnations are. To get this like an arms race. Hmm. He is very creepy. But like, I think it's safe to assume that Ariel did not send Wakaba to protect Sophia. This just happened by accident. There was no connections, like answers, orders sent from Ariel. It's all mom. Mama Spider was like, get the fuck back home. And we're like, no. And then we fought them and now we're running away. And we met Ariel. Ariel cut us up. And now we're just here. There's... Unless this is all Ario puppeteering behind the scenes and she, and we're doing what she wanted to do all this time. But so far, the anime, Siona's, there has never been a direct order, some kind of like connection between Ario and Wakaba saying, do this. It just happens to be by chance. Again, from our perspective. Now, that could be wrong, but again, I'm working with what we've seen so far. Wisdom? Virtue again? Wisdom? Ariel's running! Oh god, she's running like Sonic! Are we gonna get the CGI fight finally? Are we gonna get the fight CGI fight? Now, how about grandmother? How about grandmother, huh? <laughs> Hello, mother! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Her average stats were- Oh, damn. She's getting even more weakened, huh? Is this because of what our friends, Ghetto friends did so far? Why does she keep getting weakened like this? It's because, like, she was already weak and nerfed, and then we sent our Ghetto friends to cut off something, and then they got stuck there, but they kept doing work, right? That's a Ghetto friends work, right? Now Ariel's coming, right? Oh, oh, Jesus, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, they did it! The demon lord is absent? The demon lord is coming for us. Oh, never mind. We're gonna go kill mom. But we know that mom doesn't die because the queen is alive in the future. Unless there's a separate queen from this one. Yeah, too slow, mom. Sticky, sticky web, sticky web. We got baited. Oh, come on, how could you fall for this? 
Oh, that's a cut. No, no, no. Oh, no, we cut our legs off, though. That's the beam attack that's going to destroy the barrier, maybe. <laughs> Yo, how are we losing to this weakened mom who's like 30% at full strength? What the fuck? Oh, I can't believe we fell for this bait so hard. Annihilating eye. When in doubt, just use annihilating eye. Oh, we're immortal, though. We're immortal, though. What's going on? <laughs> they censored the fucking blood, dude. <laughs> okay, life is actually flashing. Look at the sensor, dude. Okay. Just annihilating eye. Are we gonna make our mom into our bitch? Who's that voice? Jesus Christ, I thought it was Ariel for a second. Why is Magic One so cool all of a sudden? Huh? New powers? All those stats, all those weakened stats, we just gained it all. Holy shit! Or at least our schizo friends did. Dude, we need to divide. Her astral body is essentially her soul, right? And, and remember, what else is. So, again, when, when, when the schizo friends went to this virtual world to like eat, eat at the, the soul, I was like, what the fuck is happening right now? But we were talking about the soul, right? Didn't, wasn't it known like abyss magic also damages the soul? That's why Ariel, if she used an abyss magic onto Wakaba. She could die even though she's immortal, right? So that's really important, okay? Yeah, that should make sense. Just eat her soul. We should eat our, the, our reincarnated friend's souls. You know, their souls are implanted here too, right? Damn! The healing is so much faster now too. Still no name, man. Still no name. They're really saving that, man. I wonder if in the future, when Wakaba turns into the 10 squadron leader, and again, that's still an assumption, it's not confirmed. Will she have a name by then? There's too many. Ruler of Sloth, that's kind of new, right? Ruler of Sloth? Before we had, like, um, we had Pride and Sloth as like the powers, right? Sloth is what we used on Autobo to drain all of his stats, right? But Ruler of Sloth is kind of interesting, right? I don't see Ruler of Pride here. I don't. I see Ruler of Sloth that's different from just Sloth. Not sure if that's evolved from a sloth or not. We always have that? Oh, I was focusing on the titles. The stats are what we should be looking at. The stats, the numbers are fucking insane right now because we absorbed all the moms. Isekai's protagonist. Goodbye, mother. So I guess in the future, there's a separate queen tar attack? Was that mom's beam attack? Wait, wait, wait. That seemed like mom's beam attack, right? Yeah. Bye-bye, mother. Grandma. The former body brain... The former body brain is gone? Wait, the guy the guy with the, the, the headband, right? The guy with the headband. Where did he go? Did Ariel take him? Okay. Are we together then, somehow? Are we connected like that? Well, we were already connected because grandma, but... I mean... If mom was able to connect to us, right? And we did cut that path away. But I still feel like we never did that to grandma, right? I feel like grandma's gonna be like, hey, hey, where are you at right now? Oh god! Oh god, CGI Ariels keep approaching. Are we just gonna say rest in peace to body? No, I, no, we're gonna rescue body back. We just have to fight the demon lord first, right? We gotta get that CGI fight. It's not happened yet, but salute body for now. Post credit scene. Ariel? CGI Ariel? Who the fuck are you talking to? Your kind. Ariel and a dragon. Probably an earth dragon. I've never seen this one before. <laughs> your kind? What do you mean your kind? Racist, but okay. Ariel's talking with a dragon right now in the labyrinth. You and our master. And the dragon can talk, by the way. The dragon can talk. Our master. The actual Megami, the goddess, right? Because Ariel is a divine beast. So maybe the, the, the god, the goddess had like a dragon and a spider as a divine beat? What, what? Our master though? He has never explicitly forbidden opposing you. I will obey my ma our master. Our master. I don't know. My, the wording here is a bit tricky, right? When he said our master, right? Our agreements. There's an agreement not to get in each other's way. Probably the god. But the god's like, you can't oppose Ariel if you want sometimes for whatever reason. 
Should not the old make the way for the new, for the new generation, okay? You're saying be nice to Wakaba? Eldest of the Divine Beasts. So there's a lot of Divine Beasts. And Ariel is the oldest one. Just peak boomer. And this dragon is also another Divine Beast. Don't you think the time has come for old ones such as us to take our leave for the world? And I guess, you know, uh, Ariel will now decide to kind of coach Wakaba to be the next? That's the episode. Um... What did we learn today? Um, basically, Wakaba is being heralded as like the divine beast, and she's Ariel's basically sorry, sorry, sorry. Wakaba is a divine beast of this country where you know Spooky is staying in, and this is inevitably gonna lead to issues because again, the other places will be like, yo, we don't like it that the spider is like ruling over this place, and I'm sure other people wants to like you know be very, very cautious about you know. Um, the spiders are the divine beasts, like political clout spreading beyond, right? Because they don't want other factions in check. So, okay, we got we got that to kind of worry about. We can't trust Potimas or Okachan. Potimas is somehow alive. How? He never explained. Was the death fake? I, it had to be fake, right? I mean, obviously it was fake if Potimas is still alive. Maybe there was a resurrection technique. I don't really know. Was Negishi, Potimas, all of them in on it together and they faked the whole thing? Did Okachan just do this? Wait! Wait! What was Okachan doing so far? Okachan has been gathering all the reincarnated people and putting them in internment cabs to make them into slaves to work on the farm. What is a very good excuse to bring the people from the Empire over to the Elf Village if Okachan's goal is to gather all the reincarnations, right? Why not stage a coup? Why not stage a coup? Create an excuse for Shun and the group for all have to escape conveniently to the Elf Village. Oh, oh, oh I know where to go. We should go to the Elf Village. So Okachan, if we're gonna assume, if we're cooking with this theory that Okachan is intensely trying to bring every reincarnations to this village for what? Well, maybe it's to extract the reincarnated powers to like use them as battery for something. I don't know, but Okachan, what the fuck? I don't know. I, may, maybe I'm cooking too hard with this. Maybe I'm already burnt. Maybe the metal spoon is in the microwave and lightning sparks are going off. But I feel like this could be a, a reasonable way of thinking. Or maybe Okachan is actually good all this time and we got baited and we'll see what's gonna happen. But that's it from me. That was close. What do you want me to do? I'm trying my fucking best, man. I'm trying my fucking best. A lot of people keep saying, oh my God. How could you be so fucking smart, but so fucking stupid at the same time? When I read comments like that, I'm like, bro, you know that's an insult, right? Like, you're not telling me that I have good takes. You're basically insulting me. But that's how else am I going to fucking do that, right? If I've pre-watched and I can give you a fucking fixed solution, that's right on the dot. I'm in the blind. I'm trying to fucking figure out what's going on. And of course, some things I'm going to get right, but inevitably I'm going to go down a wrong path because that's how this works. I'm just trying to work with the content given and it's pretty limited, but I think I'm cooking somewhere. But yeah, we can't trust the elves and Rip Dragon, but that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content and until the next time, take care.